Vigo, uh, this is the second movie you've directed. So I wanted to ask, what lessons did you learn from Falling that really helped with the Did Don't Hurt? Well, with Falling, my first one, I tried to put into practice what I'd seen good directors, women and men that I'd worked for before, to prepare really well, which I think we did as a team, and, and to listen to people and to make it clear on the first day before the first shot. Good idea can come from anyone. Don't hesitate. Don't tell me tomorrow about this great idea you have about the scene we're working on today because it'll be too late. You know, make it not just another job. Make it a something we do together, and it's an original story, and we get one chance to do it. Let's do it. Um, I took that. I did this same approach. I tried to with the dead don't hurt, but maybe the only the difference was. Hopefully you always learn something, but was to trust myself a little bit more. After you've talked with your crew, your cinematographer, but you have a pretty clear idea of how you want to do something. Um, and if someone disagrees and they say, well, no, I think you should do this also and that. And then if you really are sure, I'm not going to use it in the editing room, so I don't want to spend the time. Mm -hmm to trust yourself. So I, I trusted myself a little more. It doesn't mean I didn't listen to people. I still listen. But when I really had a, an instinct that that was the right way to do it, to make a shot, then, then I would stick with it. Yeah. And it saved us time and, and saved me energy. Now, acting with Vicky or with anyone else, all bets are off. You never know. You have to be really flexible because that's where something mysterious can happen, something different. You know, you're like, oh, I didn't expect her to do that. Or, or why not? You know, you, know th those, you have to be open to that. And yeah. every, everybody's different that you work with, so it's, it's important to remain open. I, I love that. And Vicky, you have such a great performance here. And Westerns in the past have largely had a male point of view. But this story is very much Vivian's just as much and focuses on what she goes through. What did you like most about just this role and her really driving the narrative? I like about her that she's like me. Uh, she's allowed to be a normal woman. I, I see myself very much as a normal woman, even if I'm an actress and you see me as the actress. I never see myself as the actress. And I am also struggling, you know, with my life and my problems and how I survive in a, in a male surrounding very often, you know. I remember starting as an actress and I remember, I really, I still remember that, you know, being in a room and there were only mainly men and having clothes that were much too short and much too tight, but it was the costume and feeling uncomfortable about this. And I have many of those memories and I don't try to focus on it because I'm always forward thinking I want to go forward and I believe in the, in the good and the optimistic. But I think in that character, you find everything of my own struggle that I had through my own life, you know, even mm. if I'm not in the Western world. And she's just a normal woman and she's very modern. She's way from today. She's very much like, like me or my, my best friends or, you know. And Vigo, my last question, there's a moment where you pull Vicky in the cow fertilizer. Is that romantic, <laughs> disgusting, romantically disgusting? <laughs> Everything, I, everything you said, <laughs> and funny. And no, it's funny. It's it's. I think it's human. It makes you. It's kind of silly, but you. I think you feel like these are real people. Yeah, because and they really care about each other, and they're by themselves, but they're in, they enjoy each other's company. Yeah, and it's what you said earlier. Uh, it's clumsy. Yeah. You know, and you said awkward, and sometimes. A love story becomes even more real when it's awkward, you know? You yeah, said it, awkward makes it even more romantic or even more sexy. More honest, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>